Today, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of education on how to take care and treat and train your common snapping turtles. What's going on, babe? Gazira! That's right, boy! That's right! Well, hello, guys. What is going on here? What up, Slayers, and what up, Lele? As you can see, we have some candles here because she laid the fattest fart of all time. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we are back at it with another episode. And based on today's title, we're having some fun with my boy, the man, the myth, the legend. Gazira! Give us that roar. Dude, look at him, he's so cool. So guys, today I'm gonna be doing a little bit of education on how to take care and treat and train your common snapping turtle. If you guys have snapping turtles, I've seen a lot of people been sending me messages and Instagram DMs, etc., about how they're getting one because of Godzilla. And I'm happy because that means you guys can go ahead and send me videos about your baby, Godzilla. Oh, he's so excited. He's so excited, he wants to come out to play. Let's see what happens, you wanna bite me? Are we friends? See, we're good. Had to buy me. Oh, what? Did you see that? I saw he went that. ahead and launched himself all it's the way back. He lied. Lied. He lied. Oh no, you farted. Oh, you farted. So Godzilla is super excited, and we're gonna have a little feeding for our man right here. But before we go ahead and do the feeding, I'm gonna show you guys our minds are doing great. You know, living their best life. You know, and Lily's still here. And we also have our babies. We have our babies doing very well. Let's move this over here. We have our babies growing up and doing very, very well. It's such an amazing sight to see our little babies living their best life as well. We have Captain America doing well as well. We're going to probably be changing that out. I do not like the pebbles. I like sand. As you can see, this is why I like the sand. They do very well in sand as well. But Captain America is doing good. Look at those colors. Oh man, you know, I also feel that the sand is changing his mood, so we're yeah. gonna have to get rid of that. But the main event, as always, we have Ninja. Every time, ready to go ahead and eat whenever we want to see him eat. You guys wanna see him eat today? Yes. All right, guys, so on top of that, one more thing. We have our gulpers. Now, we had a little emergency situation, so the water's a little weird and green. This is lake water, but we're doing okay. Everyone's doing good. We'll be doing a video with these guys very, very soon. So without further ado, let's go ahead and grab the food. We're gonna go ahead and feed Godzilla and possibly Ninja. So guys, as you can see, we have a little diversity here. We have some shrimp and we also have some tilapia. But for Godzilla, we have little pieces of shrimp and little pieces of tilapia as well. But on top of that, we have the beautiful Missouri Aquatic Turtle Diet, which I go ahead and throw in Reptile. You want to go ahead and make sure your tortoise, turtle, whichever reptile you have, has the appropriate nutrients, vitamins they need to survive. Like, I gave her a couple vitamins and she does kind oh of okay. You know, she's kind of a hard <laughs> one to get her to eat and stuff like that. But we're working on it. We're working on it. And on top of that, I have the Kent garlic as well which is absolutely fire whenever you want to go ahead and change your fishes or animals diet as well i i actually added to godzilla's food to get that little extra nutrients I, I like garlic i believe in garlic so we add a little drop here and there which we're going to do it when we go ahead and feed them and i feed them with tongs and everything so we're going to have a blast today so guys without further ado let's get right into it all right kent marine here you go we go ahead and add a couple drops to the meal because it's just so strong and we're just gonna drop one here in the middle and what we're gonna go ahead and do is just grab our tongues and Let's go ahead and feed Godzilla. So I'm gonna put this down here and we're actually gonna have some fun with Our minds. What's going Ooh. on bait? They're excited. Oh, you guys are excited. So I drop a couple pellets at a time as you can see here We go one two a three. They're just savages. Ooh, ooh. They're so cute. I love them. They're great. So these fish are actually going to be fed eventually or I might keep them, I'm not sure. Actually, you know what? In the comments below, should I keep them or feed them to the mighty Shamu? You never know. But let's go ahead and stop wasting our time. It's time to feed the man himself, Kazira. So as you can see, guys, Godzilla is growing and he looks so, so good. What I do pretty much every day is I actually sit in front of this glass probably about five to ten minutes a day so he can go ahead and recognize me. It's like almost like alone time, father-son time with your snapping turtle. So he wants to eat. He's excited. So we're going to go ahead and grab a little piece of tilapia, put it in that little sashimi sauce right there. 
Look, there you go. You see that, guys? Delicious. Delicious. So, Lily behind the camera is going to give us a hint. He knows what's about to happen. We're just going to drop this thing down right about now. And here you go. There he is. Oh, you got to make more for it. Oh, Ooh. he's so fast now. There you go. He's got a little piece. Rip that off. Come on. There you go. Oh, he's... He's greedy. Goodness. He still wants to eat. Don't worry, we have more food for you. So there's a little piece of tilapia, guys. And I like to have a very diverse diet with him. Now, I don't feed him all this at once, but in today's video, I wanted to show you, like, I feed him some tilapia, some shrimp. I'll go ahead and give him some pellets. I was looking for the pellets. I usually keep them there. But uh, we do everything. So next is, what do you want? Pellets or shrimp? Shrimp. Shrimp it is. All right, let's go ahead and get the shrimp right now. There's a little piece of shrimp. Ah, yes. Let's taste the garlic. Now, let's head down. Now, there's Godzilla here. So here you go. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, he is crazy. I'm not gonna tease him. I'm gonna reward him and let him exercise as well. Here we go, one more, come on. This way, this way, kiddo. Here you go, I'm gonna put this on the water for him. He's gonna get that scent, he's gonna get excited. Oh, <laughs> baby. Get yourself a little piece, he's smacking that thing down. But look, he swallowed his piece. Easy. Oh! Oh, none of that. None of that. None of that. So he swallowed that piece. We're going to go ahead and get the rest of that shrimp out. Well, guys, as you can see, he still wants to eat. He's still very excited. And that's what you want from your snapping turtle. You want a very happy and healthy snapping turtle. Now, he wants to get my finger. We're not going to let that happen. So you saw that he ate a shrimp. He ate some tilapia. Now let's go ahead and feed him a nice pellet. So guys, when you want to go ahead and use these, or actually you want to soak the food you're going to feed your turtle in these, your turtle or reptile, whatever. You soak them, you soak the food in water and then you add these chemicals so that the food soaks it up and then you obviously feed it to them. But we're not doing that today. We've done that already before. He already, I kind of give him the vitamins every, probably every three days so he doesn't get too much. You know, I, I don't really like to overfeed my fish, my pets, none of that. So. Also, this is the reason why I went with no substrate. If you look right here, now we removed the rocks because we're gonna be doing a video very soon about what, what's going on with these rocks. But you see the mess he makes when he eats? Yeah. It's a mess. It's crazy. Oh, relax, buddy, relax. He's, he's hungry, you know what? Let's get him this pellet before he gets mad and one of these days he bites my finger. So I just get one pellet, a simple pellet, if you can see that. Yes. Perfect. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna show him the pellet Hey buddy, here's the pellet. He knows what's going on. And I'm gonna drop this pellet right here. He's gonna come up to this pellet. Very soon once he sees it, he sees it and smack, that's Aww. it. So right there you see three different food groups. You can go ahead and feed your snapping turtle, which is awesome. You have Missouri, which Blake always worships Missouri. If he was gonna worship a food, it's Missouri. And I recommend it to everybody. And also I like to go ahead and feed them a diversity. I have the seafood here, but you can do beefy heart, you can do chicken heart, you can do just about anything, but you do also don't wanna do too much people food as well. Something natural. So at this moment, what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna roll a clip where he went ahead and crushed one of our baby crawfish from a long time ago. Um, and he actually has substrate. And that was kind of after after that feed is when I made the decision to change the substrate. Just check that out. Here we go. Here we go. He's chasing him. Come on. Come on, Godzilla. Get at it. Oh! He's fighting back. The crawfish is fighting back. This is insane. What an epic battle. Who will win? Godzilla or the crawfish? This is crazy. I don't blame him. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get him. Get him. Give him that good good. Give him that three piece. No chicken. That's right, boy. That's right. Snap at it. Yeah, that's my boy. So guys, that feed was insane. It was almost like the turtle versus crawfish. Godzilla is absolutely insane. I love bringing that kind of content to you guys because he's such a cool animal. So with that being said, he's back in his lair right there. If you look, he got everything he need. He is absolutely stuffed. And as a reward for you guys watching this video, we're gonna go ahead and feed Ninja. Are you ready, Lily? I'm ready. Let's do it. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I don't really want, I haven't washed these because I don't like to kind of cross contaminate. So I'm gonna put these down and I'm gonna feed Ninja and he knows what's going on. He knows what's going on with the oh plate, as you can see. Oh man, I love this guy. So here you go. I like to show him, I like to reward my fish when they go ahead and not do tricks, but they actually recognize me as their father. So we're gonna go from above. And look at him, he knows what's going on. Here you go. Ready? Ready. Oh, he missed. Look at that guy, he always likes to miss. 
We're gonna try this one more time. Here you go, here's a shrimp instead. There you go, good boy. Check him out. He's already ready to eat again. <laughs> Actually, you know what, Lily? You want to go ahead and give it a shot? Sure. All right, let's do it. All right, so what I want to go ahead and do is actually feed him some tilapia since he's been eating a lot of shrimp. So feed him some tilapia. Get him a nice little piece of tilapia. Hmm. Oh, he's excited. Wait, let's find our boy. Our boy's over here. All right, so he already had his shrimp. He's got to recognize it. Go ahead and smack the top of the water. This is where we usually feed him. Smack it. There you go. Smack it a little harder. Now he's ready. Now, as you can see, he's about to eat. Go ahead and crush that thing. There you go, <laughs> you monster, you. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Th shout out to Lily for giving me a hand, as always. And I appreciate you guys for subscribing to this awesome channel, guys. And I'll see you in the next Slave Venture. Booyah.